if you are successful in installing your Joomla into your top domain, then I congratulate you. You are about you are you are a step closer to completing your website because you've done. I can assure you that you've done the tedious part of it. What is remaining is is not so much tough again. So you open new tab. Then you can now go to that your subdomain that you created, mm -hmm. like my own is habit.mrprogrammer.com.ng. Once I hit enter, boom, the site that was given default web page before, uh, the site that was given, please use HTTPS as a, because we are dealing with a secure server. A secure server, use HTTPS. Once you, once you log in, what you Go to habit.mrprogrammer.com.ng. Boom. Now we now have a website. Now, as as it looks, you can see that there's nothing much on it. You can see what is the content management system there. And you can see you can see a lot of things that is not that are not your articles. Site administrator, a lot of things, and the website just look raw. But you we have your name at the top of it here, and you have the home page, and that's the only page you have. But as I tell you that. A, a a website like this as administrator you what makes it easy what makes it easy to design is you go to your back end office so you now click ctrl c you copy then you can copy your website here or you type it here again then you now put slash administrator you put administrator in front of the subdomain administrator in front of your subdomain so you click enter and we wait for it. Yes, you have your administrator page. Now, this administrator page, this is the main website that everybody sees whenever they whenever they visit your website, whenever they put for your put in your subdomain to a web browser that is connected to the internet. And on this other side, this is the database. Let me call it the database or the back end. This is where you control whatsoever that happens on the administrator page. So there's what we now call, let me log in. So what makes Joomla so easy is because there are hundreds of templates. Now, let me just go to Google. Let me just show you something. Come to Google here and I put Joomla, Joomla templates on Google. You see a thousands of pop-ups, the best Joomla templates, 1000 of Happy Clients, 20, 20s bed Joomla templates, Joomla templates, rocket team. You can use a handful lot of them. A handful lot of them. They are very much. So you can, you can just, you can just choose the one to use. You just choose the one to use to know. You can choose any one to use for your, for your website. But here I will be providing you with a, with a, with a, with a template. So that's we use all that template. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Okay, you can just download any templates from a, a website. I will be installing a Joomla template now. Look at this menus, content. This is where you change everything that happens on your website. So, but let's install first. Find a nice template that looks suits to you. If you like how the templates look, then you can install it. And now let's in, let me install a template for you to see how template is being installed. I will come to extension, then manage, then I click install. Extension manage then install now as Because I'm coming to this website for the first time if you ask me um, Joomla would like your permission to collect some basic statistics and say Always so if I say always then if you ask me add install from web and the likes like that so I can click and install from web tab so when you install from web, it loads and um, that add the stuff from web will be, I will, I will tell you the function as from from other videos, but that's not where we are going at present. But you can just add the stuff from web tab. It will be useful when you need it. So let's go to upload a package file. Then after downloading your template, you just go to where your template is. You click on browse for file and you navigate to where your template is. You navigate to where your template is. So you navigate to where the template is, then you just you just click on the template you want to use. I want to use the pro version of JSN Doom. JSN Doom. I have uh, some, but I will install the free version first. I enforce the free version first. I 
install the free flash of course so i'm installing so that i can i'll tell you the reason why it's just because so that i can download the 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 the, the, the way the website is the way the template is i just want to download it straight to my so that makes the work so easier so i already already i'm already uploading it and if you if you look at it the thing is rolling already it's coming up it's coming up so i'm installing i'm installing a template of my choice to my website already so let's wait for it as it as it is installing so once you install it you get a successful message that it has been installed successfully that your template has been installed successfully so you can now come to extensions please follow me then you click on template you click on template now by after installing your template successfully if you install your template successfully if you come to if you come and reload your home page here if you reload your home page here you see that it has changed you will see a change here you see a change at your temp at, at your template so now you can come here then click on the new template you installed i installed gsn dome 3 yes so i'll click it Now this is where I'm going to. I want to install sample data. Install sample data. This makes my website look exactly the way I see it at the template site. So I will click install sample data. It loads. And then I click agree. I agree that installing sample data will delete all content on this website. So it is always better to install sample data before you start designing anything. Because it will later erase all content and put the original content of the template as it came. So, and once you click yes, then it starts. So, then you click continue. So, if we install all necessary files, if we install them, clicking them one by one, install all the necessary things you need for the website so that you don't, don't start disturbing yourself all over again so let's wait for you. so once your sample data has been successfully installed boom then you click finish congratulations you are also a step you have gone a step further now come to your website and just refresh it and see how your website will be looking now yes it will bring your website to you and everything on the website are not yours yes i know they are not yours but now your website is having a kind of good look that then it you you can now say yes your website is getting beautiful yes this is what we call template now you have installed a template successfully you have inst installed this template successfully now but this template i installed is the free version i want to upgrade it to the pro version since i have the pro version i if you want to install some templates like that you install the free version first just if that is if the pro version you have the pro edition of it you have is not what you buy you know this is we are in nigeria and we use a lot of craft software and mm -hmm. so we we this uh, the, the pro version i have is cracked one i won't be able to install all the sample data package if i don't with the pro version if i don't install the free version first so now i will be installing the pro version of this of this of this template so I'll just go to extension manage and install again. So once I go to extension manage and install again, I'll click on the browse for, for the file. Then I'll find the GSN Dome Pro. I just installed the free version with the start package. So this is the pro version of it. Then I'll click open. So look here at this top down corner, you see uploading. You see the percentage uploading 20 percent so 32 64 it's seven after it has been uploaded successfully you can wait for some seconds because at times yeah if your network is slow it may you may not quickly get the success message so once you wait for a while you can just see now we have the has been installed successfully now you now go to extensions and you go to templates again Go to template again now it might have made that pro fashion of it the default fashion and when you refresh your web page you now have something more beautiful 
this is the pro version 